Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will be discussing the first part um, of addition and subtraction of radicals. Now, uh, the important thing about addition and subtraction of radicals is to treat your radicals as like variables. Okay, so before we go that, uh, we go to the actual addition and subtraction. Uh, there's one key skill that you need to acquire before we actually proceed, and that is how to. Um, Simplify your radicals, okay? Simplify your radicals or to express the radical in a different form, okay? So, for example, we have this um, given. Say I have square root of 8. Now, in this square root of 8, remember that the 8 here inside can still be simplified. Why? Because this could be square root of 2 cubed. And remember that if your exponent is bigger than your index, you can take out some of the values inside. Because what would happen here is it would become the square root of 2 squared times 2. Okay, Remember, if you have same basis, you can add the exponent. So, what 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Or, you can do it the other way around. You can separate them. So, for example, I have 5 raised to 6. So, this is also equal to 5 cubed times 5 cubed. Because you can add the exponent. Now, in this case, you can do that. Yan, we have 2 cube is equal to 2 squared and um, 2 raised to 1. And in this case, I can take this out as a whole. Because what would happen here is this would be two, the square root of 2 squared times the square root of 2. And this would just simply leave me with 2 square root of 2. Okay, So this would be the main concept behind that. But there's actually a shortcut. The shortcut would be just like this. You take the exponent, okay, you take the exponent and you divide it by the index so that would be 3 let me know, 3 divided by 2 is equals to 1 that's the quotient remainder 1 and this one would be your um, this one would be your the number outside the exponent of the number outside so this would simply be 2 raised to 1 okay so you take the base raise it by the um, the quotient and you just put aside uh, beside it the base again with the same um, roots but with the remainder as the exponent okay or just simply two and this would be just the same okay so maybe let's try to have an example that is similar to that say i have the cube root of uh, maybe uh, let's have ano uh, maybe let's have 5 raised to 7 what is 5 raised to, yeah Let's, uh, let's leave it as 5 raised to 7 first so that you will be able to um, visualize the remainder thing. Okay, So this would give you um, 7. I'll just put here in the side again. 7 divided by 3 is equal to 2, right? 2 remainder, 2 remainder, 1. Okay. So what would happen here is again, you will take the base, you will raise it with the quotient, 5 squared, and you will take the same root, and the same base and you will raise the number inside with the remainder which is 1 so this will give you of course 5 squared is equal to 25 cube root of 5 so you can try this one in your calculators and I will try it with uh, with mine um, now let me just uh, get the cube root of 5 raised to 7 and the answer would be 25 25 cube root of 5 yeah. The answer is 25 cube root of 5. So it's the same. So the, the concept um, still uh, stands still. So this is one way of you to simplify your given um, radicals. Okay. So again, what we do here is you try to look for a number that will be... Um, you, you try to look for the exponent form of that specific number. Okay. So maybe let's try something else. Say we have the cube root of say um 2 I sorry sorry for a while um let's have it as wait lang I'm okay okay let's have it as 6 8 I'm oh, sorry so I'm not undoing okay sorry cube root of 6 8 6 now in this 6 8 6 uh, it's definitely not na I, I don't think you will not see a number that will uh, give you a uh, an exponent form of this one so how do i actually check for that so what i do is i actually just simply divide 
divide divide divide okay so if it's if it does not fall then okay so what i will do here is i will just uh, evaluate uh do it like this yeah 340 so this one is the ex it's the equivalent form of 686 which is 2 times 343 and this 343 i do know for sure that this is 7 cube wait am i correct yeah it's 7 cube okay it's 7 cube and therefore this one can be taken out okay remember the radicals can also play as a fra as the um fractional exponent meaning all the loss of exponent is also applicable in them so if i have this the product i can simply split them apart like this like so okay so this would give me cancel cancel because they are the same this will give me seven cube root of two okay so that's one way trying to look for a number or trying to break down the number as factors like this one yeah now it's 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 gonna take some time to practice pero it will be um easy for you soon enough okay so now let's have um say um the square root of 24 so let's try to get the square root of 24 okay 24 um i don't think it's uh it's under 2 yeah yeah it's not under 2 I mean, two, an exponent of 2. Maybe let's try to divide 24 by 2. 24, or let's try to find the factors of 24. The square root of 24, I don't need to write pala the, ano, the square anymore, because it's the default. Okay? So now, 24 is equals to um, 8. 8 times 3, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's 8 times 3. Okay, so 8 times 3 would definitely, um, in this 8, will definitely be ex uh, expressed as 2 cube I guess yeah 2 cube and then we have this and then I will split them apart wait yeah I will split them apart it will give me 2 squared times 2 times 3 yeah and this is this is still okay because um, um, it's still under the loss of exponent and as long as it is under the radical then definitely you can manipulate the number inside. Wag niyo lang ilalabas. Just don't bring them out. Okay. So in this given, it will. Uh, this one, this term can be simplified, and two divided by two outside here will give you two raised to one remainder zero. Therefore, there would be no two left for this given. So you will have two outside. So pwede mo siyang ilabas. Okay. If they are the same, you can bring it out. Square root of. Uh, since you cannot take out two and three anymore, so you will multiply two times three is just simply. Um, 6 and this would be your given or we can actually break it down like this we can have the square root of 4 times um, what's I think it's 6 yeah 4 times 6 okay the square root of 4 is definitely 2 so you can take it out so you will have 2 square root of 6 it's the same the same thing okay so that's one way again uh, there are different of ways um, of getting or simplifying your um, radical uh, but the key thing here is uh, you must be able to see um, what are the different factors in your given in your given okay so you, can, you must be able to see and usually say we have another example um, usually when you try to look for for example we have this yeah. okay let's have this negative negative 2 Usually, when you try to look for the factors, you try to look for a factor that is a perfect square trinomia, a perfect square number, or a perfect cube number. And you can have a list of that. Okay? In this case, negative 2 square root of 9 times 2. Why? Because I will try to look for a square number that I can divide 18 with. Okay? And the different square are 1, 4, 9, and etc. And definitely, 9 is a perfect number. Therefore, I can take this one out. Taking this one out will give me negative 2. This would be equal to cube, 3 cube, right? I uh, 3 square. So I can take out this as a whole and I can take out 3 outside. Leaving me with 2 inside. But then again, what do you think is the operation between them? If there are no visible operation, by default it's multiplication. So negative 2 times 3, the answer is negative 6 square root of Okay, so that would be um, some examples when it comes to simplifying your um, radicals. And this is very important. 
in trying to um, add and subtract radicals. Okay, why? Because again, I will tell, uh, as I have told you before, you will treat the radicals as variables, just like in simplifying terms. So that would be all. If you would have any other questions, you can consult the video again, of course, or of course, ask me in our um, class. Okay. So these are just ex some examples, not necessarily a set rule for simplifying radicals, just some ways of um, um, taking out some terms inside your radicals. Okay. So that would be all. Thank you for listening, and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.